Welcome to DX Sudoku training video number 82. In this video, a method for solving Sudoku puzzles without using pencil marks will be presented. There are different strategies or ways of solving Sudoku puzzles. Probably the most popular strategy is using Snyder notation. Snyder notation is a traditional paper and pencil method for solving a Sudoku puzzle. If you are interested in learning about Snyder notation, watch DX Sudoku video number 63. A second strategy for solving Sudoku puzzles is what I call the modern software approach. This way of solving Sudoku puzzles comes from Bernard Habegger, who developed the popular Hudoku program for Sudoku. Hudoku is based on this method of solving Sudoku puzzles. With the modern software approach, every possible pencil mark for every cell is filled out before you start solving the puzzle. You let your software manage the creation and deletion of pencil marks the whole time while you're solving the puzzle. Pencil marks are sometimes called possible candidates by some software. If you are interested in learning about the modern software approach to solving a Sudoku puzzle, watch DX Sudoku video number 40 titled Beginner's Guide. A third strategy for solving Sudoku puzzles will be presented in this video, which involves solving a Sudoku puzzle without any pencil marks at all. In this video, the strategy will be demonstrated using the naked single, hidden single, and locked candidates puzzle solving techniques. There are many facets to solving Sudoku puzzles. Solving puzzles without using pencil marks can be fun and challenging and is definitely worth a try a few times. Consider the following Sudoku. It has 27 givens in its constellation of givens. Since no values have been set, there are 54 empty or open cells remaining in the puzzle. The first step in solving this puzzle is to look for naked singles. We search each of the 81 cells. We begin with cell 1, 1. Since cell 1, 1 already has a given in it, we move to cell 1, 2. Cell 1, 2 also has a given in it, so we move to cell 1, 3. Cell 1, 3 is an open cell. We mentally identify the three shared houses occupied by cell 1, 3, now highlighted in gray. The first shared house is the house making up row 1, the second shared house is the house making up column 3, and the third shared house is the house making up block 1. Next, based on the intersection of the three shared houses, we count the givens and values set in each cell from 1 through 9 to see if anything is missing. There's a 1 in cell 1, 5. There's a 2 in cell 1, 1. There's a 3 in cell 1, 8 and cell 9, 3. There's a 4 in cell 1, 2. There's no 5 anywhere in the three shared houses, so we make a mental note of it. And there is also no 6 anywhere in the three shared houses. Once we discover a second number not in the intersection, we move to the next cell. We are now looking at cell 1, 4. We identify the three shared houses, now highlighted in gray. We count the numbers 1 through 9 and find only the 7 is missing. If there are two or more possible numbers missing in the shared houses for a cell, then we move on to the next cell in our search for naked singles. However, if there's only one remaining possible number in the shared houses for a cell, then we have found a naked single. We choose the one remaining possible number, which is 7, as the value of cell 1, 4. We update our puzzle solving algorithm to include choosing the naked single value when found. We continue our search for naked singles. When we get to cell 1, 6, we find another naked single. And we also find a naked single when we get to cell 1, 7. The naked single search continues. When we get to cell 8, 9, we find another naked single. Next, we add step 2 to our puzzle solving algorithm. If any house has only one remaining open cell, we choose the naked single for the cell. For the house making up row 1, there is only one remaining open cell. We choose the value 6 for cell 1, 3 because it's the only value left we can use. There are no naked singles left in the puzzle, 
So next we begin looking for hidden singles. When searching for hidden singles, we will search the numbers 1 through 9 as possible candidates. We begin our hidden single search with the number 1 as a possible candidate. To find hidden singles for the possible 1 candidate, we need to identify all the cell locations where a 1 cannot be placed. Take a closer look at cell 7, 7, which has a given of 1 in it. Cell 7, 7 participates in three shared houses. Since cell 7, 7 has a given of 1 in it, this means there cannot be a value of 1 anywhere else in the house making up row 7. And this also means there cannot be a value of 1 anywhere else in the house making up column 7. And thirdly, this means there cannot be a value of 1 anywhere else in the house making up block 9. All the cells in the three shared houses with cell 7, 7 are highlighted in red to indicate they cannot be used for placing a value of 1 since there's already a 1 set in cell 7, 7. All the cells having a possible 1 candidate now have the cells and their shared houses where a 1 cannot be placed highlighted in red. You don't need to color the background red for these cells every time. This is being done here so you know what to do inside your head. Take a closer look at the house making up block 3. Based on all the cells highlighted in red, plus all the givens and values already set in the house, there is only one possible location where we can place a number 1 in the house making up block 3. And that location is cell 3,8. Cell 3, 8 is a hidden single and not a naked single because there is two or more possible numbers we can choose for this cell. Since there must be at least one number 1 in the house making up block 3, we have to put it somewhere. The problem is, unless we put a number 1 in cell 3, 8, then any other location we choose in block 3 would violate the Sudoku rule of only having one of each number in each house. We update our puzzle solving algorithm to include when to choose a hidden single value for a cell. We choose the value 1 for cell 3, 8. We update our red highlighted cells accordingly. And after placing the number 1 in cell 3, 8, another hidden single pops up in the house making up row 2 and the house making up block 1. We choose the value 1 for cell 2, 2 and update our red highlighted cells accordingly. We do not find any other hidden singles with the possible 1 candidate at this time, so we move on to the number 2. Here are all the cells where a 2 cannot be placed highlighted in red. We do not find any hidden singles with the possible 2 candidate. We move on to the number 3. All the cells where a 3 cannot be placed are highlighted in red. We find a hidden single in the house making up row 7 and the house making up block 9. The hidden single is located at cell 7, 9. We choose the value 3 for cell 7, 9. Next, take a closer look at the house making up block 1. We have a set of locked candidates with cell 3, 1 and cell 3, 2. There must be at least one number 3 in the house making up block 1, and it must be placed in either cell 3, 1 or cell 3, 2. But since both cells are shared in the house making up row 3, there are consequences. Cell 3, 4 further down the row cannot have a value of 3, otherwise block 1 would not have a 3 in it. We update our algorithm, and we color the background of additional cells in row 3, taking into account the locked candidates we found. We find another set of locked candidates with the threes in block 5, and cell 2, 6 is now highlighted in red as a consequence. Because of the locked candidates we found in block 1 and in block 5, we find another hidden single with the threes in cell 2, 4. We choose the value 3 for cell 2, 4. There are no more hidden singles with the number 3, so we move on to the other numbers. For the numbers 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, we find a total of 11 hidden singles. At this point, we keep repeating the process until the puzzle is solved. We update our puzzle solving algorithm to go back to step 1 after finishing step 3. We start the sequence again and we find 3 more naked singles. We then find 16 more hidden singles highlighted in green. 
We next find 10 more naked singles now highlighted in green. And we find 5 houses having only one remaining open cell to finish this puzzle. This completes the Exodoku training video number 82. Please support my efforts by purchasing my book on Amazon. Thank you for buying and thank you for watching.